Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper for Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. This time the news out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Joe Russell, longtime friend of the show, has been hired as manager of freestyle programs by USA Wrestling. He joins us now from his offices on the campus of George Mason University. Welcome back, Joe. How are you? Thanks, Scott. I appreciate you having me on. Congratulations. This news is huge. Coach Bill Zadick calls. You initiate a conversation about the job, and all of a sudden you're interested. After six years at George Mason, why now? I, it's just an amazing opportunity. You know, as a guy who grew up on a wrestling mat, who just loves the sport, and I've actually known Bill for a lot of years, and to be able to be a part of what he's building at USA Wrestling and to be part of that journey and process is just, it's overwhelming. I'm just so excited to be be part of what he's doing. You and I have been friends, but what caught me first, caught my eye first, and then my heart, was how much of an advocate for the sport you are and those that are in it. I've always seen you uh, be a friend to the athlete first and understanding that you have a desire to teach and you've done that so well. I look at what you've done at George Mason and it's been remarkable, Joe. Well, I appreciate it. You know, my time at George Mason has definitely helped me grow as a person and I hope I've left this place in a, in a better position. And you know, yesterday was a tough day telling the athletes, you know, that I've taken a new position and I, I'm just real thankful that they gave me the opportunity at George Mason and that I was able to, to build and learn and to, and to be a Division One head coach for six years is an experience that, that grows you up a lot as a person. You, uh, when, t when you took over George Mason and I came and visited you s several times, you uh, were taking over a program that was struggling. Now here, looking back over the six years, you've led the program to 41 dual meet victories. You've coached six wrestlers to eight bursts at the NCAAs. Prior to your arrival, you were a longtime assistant at the University of Minnesota. You learned uh, with one of the greats. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to even uh, express how much you learned from J-Rob, but uh, he was a perfect mentor for you at the right time. Yeah, no doubt. And I think, you know, I think that's one reason why Bill Zadick wants me out there is just the people I've been able to be around in my lifetime and to learn from uh, throughout the years. A lot of time at Minnesota I had, the time I had out here, I think those skill sets uh, will serve me well uh, helping at USA Wrestling. How did you tell Sadie about this opportunity? <laughs> uh, it's a delicate road to go down. You know, Sadie is a huge wrestling fan as well, and, and a lot of her life is involved in the sport. And so, you know, I, I think for both of us, for our family, it's just, you know, we got to try and figure out what we're, what God wants us to do. And, you know, this is a situation that is just like, I don't know, like a dream dream opportunity for our family. Your brother, Danny, is, is such an integral part of your life, has been for years and years, and perhaps your biggest supporter outside of Sadie and, and the rest of us. It's a, a very unique experience. He's so excited for you. Uh, I don't know how much, how many more Russells can join USA Wrestling, but <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if we were able to add Dan as well? Yeah, no, I, you know, Dan does a great job for the sport and is a great ambassador for the sport. And so I think, you know, there's a lot of people that have poured into my life over the years, including you, and it's, it's your guys' fault that I got this opportunity. So, you know, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And, and, and my brother is a, a great ambassador, but it's, uh, you know, Jay's influence at Minnesota definitely is a, another reason that helped prepare me for this position I'm about ready to embark on. Your experience in the international style is rather extensive. It's kind of unique because you've made yourself available uh, through uh, cadet programs and, and junior trips and and other opportunities. If, if I recall, your, your leadership includes uh, 10 years uh, international freestyle dual meets against Germany in 97 and versus Cuba in 99. Uh, so this, I'm sure, made it that much more attractive. But you have an ability to to get into the heads of these kids, and that's what they need right now as we continue to develop Team USA. How much of a challenge do you see this initially, and where do you see it going eventually? Well, you know, I think initially, you know, I don't, I don't know what I got myself into, so we're kind of at that stage right now, but I definitely want to see the sport grow, and, you know, to be a part of the freestyle program is important, but I think Bill's vision just for wrestling in general is exciting, and we want to grow the sport and make it better, and, and it's, you know, the athletes, 
uh, it's about them. It's, you know, definitely not about the coaches. It's about the athletes and, and to be able to pour in their lives is, a, is exciting to have that opportunity. To have another friend at USA Wrestling is important to me, but to have somebody as well-versed as you, uh, especially at the age division, at the age levels. I mean, you've been on the USA Wrestling Board of Directors as a FILA junior and university age division chair doing that for four years. In addition, you served on the Minnesota USA Wrestling Board for several years as well. You've always been willing, able, and ready to volunteer that time and that effort. Why? I, I love the sport. This is my passion. You know, it's it's not like you feel like you go to work. It's it's what we do because we love it. That's why that's why I see you at every wrestling event I'm at. You know, it's just <laughs> it's what we do. It's what we love. And and uh, to serve on the board at USA Wrestling, I think that was great for me, uh, development wise, to kind of see how it works. And and I think that'll help me as I take this new position that I do have some background uh, working within the within the structure of USA Wrestling. We're talking with Joe Russell in the Nike hot seat today. And uh, Joe has been named to uh, the USA staff recently by uh, several folks, including Rich Bender. And Rich Bender said that uh, Joe will immediately impact Team USA. His leadership skills developed at the University of Minnesota and George Mason will serve our program well as we charge toward Tokyo. So really, you've got your marching orders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. You. Yeah. No pressure there at all. Yeah. But yeah we Thankfully, uh, you know, winning medals is very important, and <laughs> and and putting the best product we can for the United States of America, representing us around the world. Uh, that stuff is super important, and I just feel blessed that I can be part of the crew that's trying to do that. You've been decorated by the sport. Uh, for for many uh, years and for many reasons, of course, uh, your challenges you've faced uh, for some would have been insurmountable. Instead, they were just that challenges. And while doing so, you really provided inspiration to others. Recovering from injuries, uh, as you have, you've really. I think there's a whole lot of folks out there that that uh, respect the he heck out of you for the way you've battled through adversity. Now you get an opportunity to tell these kids, you know what, wrestling is wrestling. It's not adversity. It's you're going to challenge yourself. Bill Zadick, Rich Bender, Les Gutches, Cody Beckley, everybody at USA Wrestling had a hand in this, and I I gotta believe there's there's nobody better in the country that they could have picked. Well, <laughs> you know, I'd love to think so, but I just I just I can't believe they they chose me to come help them, and I'm I'm excited to get in there and give everything I can to help move this program forward and, and to make them pleased with the decision they made to bring me on board. You know, for me, this is like you being named team captain your senior year at Minnesota. It's another one of those uh, opportunities for you to lead. And, and uh, so you coming up, I think we have uh, junior world trials in, uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska, right? Yep. Yeah, I'll be out in Lincoln, Nebraska at the trials for the senior trials and to watch the junior trials. So I'm excited to, to get on the ground and start start running and, you know, start learning what they want me to do and, and, and start, you know, seeing if we can keep making progress that they've been doing. I just interviewed Alex Thompson this morning. He has just committed to wrestle for uh, the Huskers and Mark Manning, a uh, young man out of Iowa, three-time state champ, undefeated. Uh, he's, I said, are you excited to, to wrestle at your future home? He said, well, I've done it before, but this time it'll have a little more meaning. Will it be special for you, uh, for your next trip to USA wrestling in Colorado Springs, perhaps a little different? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm a wrestling fan, so I don't know if I, you know, I go up to these guys, I kind of want to ask them for their autographs, you know, I gotta <laughs> be their coach, but, uh, but they don't understand it. You know, I'm a fan of theirs as well. So it, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. And the world team trials is is such an emotional uh, event, and you know there's a lot of dreams riding on the line here. So for uh, you know wrestling people, it's it's kind of an, an amazing event to attend. Your lovely wife Sadie, who has been by your side for so many years, what was her initial take when you said, "Hey, I think we really need to take a look at this"? Hey, it's a tough conversation you know, I have. We have a, you know, a lot of time in in prayer trying to figure out what the right thing to do was and stuff like that, but. Uh, you know, change is hard for all of us, and, and, and both of us are now, we're at the overwhelm stage right now, like, you know, the moving is kind of overwhelming, but to just, it's unbelievable, we've been blessed with this opportunity, and we're just thankful, and, 
and definitely feel blessed that, that we're able to go on this journey. Boy, Taft is in a lucky spot, isn't he? His, his, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't think so, but well, of I course. hope when he comes around here, of course. Oh, he'll come around because now his dad will be firmly in control of his freestyle career. <laughs> As yeah, no, he puts freestyle. a singlet on, on every night when I get home from work. He's ready to wrestle, so it, it'll be a, you know, it, it's in our family's blood. So it's, 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 like, I don't know, I've said it too much probably, but it's definitely a, uh, super excited about this opportunity that came our way. Joe, we appreciate you taking the time to join us, even in the uh, aftermath of the news. It just hit, and we're so very fortunate to be able to chat with you and to congratulate you. You know we love you and Sadie and, and Taft, and uh, we're so proud that uh, USA Wrestling has made this decision to extend to you the job and uh, make it so attractive that you would want to take it. I can't imagine what the future is going to look like, but it's got your well, fingerprints all over it, brother. Well, thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. And lucky that the George Mason people helped me out here to hook me up on this Skype. So they good good group, group of people here, George Mason. <laughs> Joe Russell has been hired as manager of freestyle programs by USA Wrestling. The announcement made just an hour or so ago, and we're so pleased to be able to help tell you the story through him, himself. How about that? For all of us here today at Takedown in our Nike hot seat, Joe Russell and one of his last professional moves for George Mason as he heads to Colorado Springs. I'm Scott Kasman for Takedown. Thanks for watching.